I'm Katie with Savings for Members and I'm here to talk to you about the ADP program. Many are familiar with ADP as a payroll processor, however, they can also offer many other solutions and services, such as HR solutions, workers' comp, health insurances, 401k plans, and much more. Our program waives all setup fees and offers a minimum of a 25% discount to members on all payroll and HR solutions. To learn more, please visit wfca.savingsformembers.com or give us a call at 844-346-3746. They say that champions don't do one thing 100% better, they do 100 things 1% better than their competition. As an example, my experience when observing salespeople during the first few minutes with a customer tells me that the vast majority of the initial conversation tends to revolve around telling statements rather than the asking of questions. And of those questions, too many were really just statements in disguise. In my mind, this is not a very effective way to begin a dialogue. Please let me explain. For many of us used to selling our ideas and products via presentations, we might find it difficult to turn off the sales pitch when conversing with others. However, a good conversationalist is eager to know more about the person that they are talking with, and that means asking a lot of questions. Open-ended questions are invitations to expound, to share, and to continue the conversation. Here's an example. Does this room have a lot of activity? This question doesn't allow for much of a response beyond yes or no. Not very revealing. This would be a closed-ended question. Instead, asking, tell me about an average week in this room. This open-ended question not only encourages the customer to relate in greater detail what performance qualities the new flooring might ideally possess, but also gives you an idea of their expectations as well. Master the art of encouraging your customer to share more information with you by using open-ended questions and you'll be well on your way to greater sales success.